You gotta turn that bass fill up. The boom boom, you know what I mean? So I can learn. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Man, you gotta crank I'll actually that. get that right now. After just standing. I'm doing those cymbals right now. Just standing. So I can learn. Just standing. So I can learn. Sounded nice, Chi. Yeah, it's not, it's really. Happening. I got those guitars in there, finally. Just standing. So I can learn. Just standing. So I can learn to fly. Just standing. So I can learn to fly. Just, just standing. Yeah, it's like a gander. I was over you. Something's up. The, the vocal's distorted. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something's wrong with the vocal. Hey. Whoa. Did I just hear a squirrel? Like a like a spit in the vocal, like a thing. Am I losing my freaking mind? Am I gonna listen to the print if I hit play? Yeah. Every time you cry, I hope that someday. Yeah, you hear that S? Yeah, that's that's nasty. Every time. Well, that's what I was telling you. I heard a couple of those in the car. Every time you cried, I hope that someday. Yeah, that's gotta. That that needs to be cut from another take or something. That that's 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 that nasty stuff we're hearing. Yep. That's better. So I'm cutting in. There's a couple of fluttery S's on this guy too. It sounds weird. So just replace this. Since I left you standing. Yeah, that's better. I was over you. The moment I saw. They're not stereo guitars, so they're each getting a different treatment. And then the first thing I tried is uh, this on the left guitar, this on the right guitar. Just to try it, to see if it would get any kind of flavor and nice 
things going on. It really did. I, I bumped the mids, cut the lows a little bit. So um, so that's that. Yeah, up here. I'm bumping the, the room ribbon mics more than usual. That gives us a nice full drum kit sound. Instead of it just sounding like pieces, it sounds like, you know, we're miking up the drum kit. These are about 10 feet away from the drums. And I have a parallel compression bus going. What'd you do yeah. on the room mics for n no cut at all with that uh, the EQ? Is I just think there's phase? a little bit of a cut. No, just a little bit, a little bit of a cut and a phase, phase out. Not much, not much of a cut at all. I might actually bring it back because I'm working. I'm yeah, I'm working out the high end and the cymbals and stuff. That sound good. This gate isn't doing anything, or it's not doing much. That that gate is uh, is keyed to the tops, but right now I have the range pretty low. It's it's doing a little bit. I might turn it off, and then uh, this is just EQ. Yeah, I'm I'm notching out a uh, there's a there's a honk right in the middle of it. I'm notching out. Say it again. that resonance out and then here's a low bump and some highs just um, I just think the mic needed the highs it, it seemed a little muffled without it that, that might I might tweak that out so here's without the EQ it's not bad right there and then it just pokes through a little more with the rest of the kit Sorry. Got the a gate and the SSL going on the uh, kick right now. But the kick right now is sounding a little clicky. I think I want it to to be a little more just just more of a hit, less of a tap click clacky thing. When I get the reverbs really going, that might kind of push push back a little bit. The song's obviously built on the snare, it's not built on the kick, so I can even just take the kick down a little bit. I'm bringing in the distance mics too. This one, this one is about 20 feet away, that's the U67, and then this is 30 feet away and that's a that's a PZM. So that's the bass sound like mixing it with the close ones.
actually hear how far away that one is. That's the one, that's the one in the bathroom. That's the bathroom, that man, that in the Yep. You can actually hear the bathroom. <laughs> What's that? You can actually hear the bathroom sound in there. Yeah, that's part of the fun of it. It, it kind of functions as a reverb, reverb tank. So show show why everybody the time alignment with the uh, DI bass and the amped, okay. the mic amp bass. Let's look at the waves first. The mic's probably about three, four inches off the cab, so you'll see. Here we go. If I blow this up, you'll start to kind of see what's uh, what's ahead and what's behind. There you go, and that's and that's pretty much the difference. That's the ballpark. Of, of the difference you can see right there that's that's gonna be about the difference you have to look at a few different waves to really catch it but you know because they're not always gonna look exactly the same <laughs> Tell us about the reverb on the guitars, Mr. G. So, so I got the guitars going through the LA3As and the Neves, like, like we talked about before, which is, um, which is cool. But I'm starting to actually take top end off of them. And this is just the dry guitars, but through those. Play them separately than, so everybody can hear them. It's a little thicker than before. Left. That's my set. That's my 71 uh, uh, Super Tremolo with my Les Paul. And this is the... I think, and I think this is through... The Reeves Super 78, or this may be through the, the Marshall too. I think it's just the Marshall. I think it's the Marshall. Yeah. And you know what's so weird about this? This was the hardest song to track. It took us like four hours to finally get a guitar sound, and everybody was like, oh, we almost gave up. Finally, I'm like, you know what we need? We just need a Les Paul and a Marshall. And I plugged it in, and it I was really like, helps. there you go. So I got a slap delay going on it. You can hear that right there. It's pretty quick. And then I've got two reverbs. One that's the waves I are right there, which is really a cool reverb. You can hear it. Actually that one no, that one's the um That's the revive. Okay, this is the waves I are. There it is. That makes more sense. So that's the waves I are. And then here is. That sounds like something. Yeah. Here's the revive. And what I did with the revive was I did multi mono. Where is it? Right here. I went to multi mono, picked out revive, and then you'll see these are. This is two discrete channels. It's not a stereo reverb, it's multi-mono. And then the sends are crossing, going across. So this is the left guitar, and it's going only to the right. So it's only reverbing on the right. We're doing Van Halen 1. Van Halen 1, yeah. Two. Do it again. This is the... 
and you can hear the reverb going there. So that's mixed in with the other ones, and that gives it that gives it a really broad sound, like you're in the room, you know. There it is. Let's hear it with the band. I mean, we're not there yet, but I guess we're moving along. All right.